very quiet. We're hunting milk chucks today. Hello and welcome to Prairie Ballistics. My name's Jerry. My name's Gary. Today we're testing subsonic shotgun slugs at 30 yards out of this Mossberg. Okay, we're starting with the uh, standard slug, uh, competition slug, low recoil. This is our baseline. What we've done is taken the powder out of these and different powder weights for to test against the standard. We fired all the subsonic loads in the same way, shooting three shot groups through the 535's improved cylinder choke. The powder used was a Lyant Red Dot, and after cutting off the end of each shell, it was loaded into the shortened hulls in one grain increments, starting at seven grains. Margin of error was plus or minus 0.1 grains. Eleven loads were made in total, and each one was given a quarter inch roll crimp. We used factory loaded shells rather than individual components because it was less expensive to do so. The slugs alone would have cost more than the fully loaded shells. We did not use the factory powder, as it was an unknown make and model. The load data would have been useless to hand loaders, and the powder type and charge changed between the older and newer shells from the company. It simply made more sense to use a known brand. That being said, we did try a half load of the powder from the orange shells. your thoughts on the differences here? Oh, this powder is hardly any power behind it at all. It just felt like about a five grain or a six grain. When the smoke cleared, we found that the seven grain loads were the quietest, and the 14 to 15 grain loads delivered the best it's Right dead center. The two factory loads performed similarly, with the green ones delivering slightly more recoil. Okay, the new load, I can definitely feel a little more power out of that. Feel it in my shoulder. <laughs> After we tested the slugs for accuracy, we moved on to power and penetration tests against four liter milk jugs. We put four layers of cotton cloth, enough to stop a low velocity air gun, on the front of the first jug to simulate heavy clothing or fur. Four jugs would be equivalent to 12 to 16 inches of 10% ballistic gelatin. Let's see how the slugs performed. Okay, now we're back to the seven grain load. See what we can do to these water jugs. Well, if you've ever seen a wounded water jug, this is it. Just clip to left here. Okay, now we're going with a nine grain. He's climbing. See here, it was climbing all the way out, went through the top. Yep. Okay, now uh, <clears throat> a 10 grain. I 
shot right there. Came out the back. Zoom, that's the second one. Exit. Run. Entrance. Exit. Entrance. And an exit. Penetrated all four of them. Pretty good. 800 feet per second. Maybe that's the slug right there. Now we're going with the factory orange. That's just a rock. I was aiming over here and I went to the right this time. I had a choice of going to either go left or right, and I went right. <laughs> this is a second attempt with the orange. Okay, where to start with this? Here's the rag. That was in the front. I see the first jug over there. Way over there. And which one is the second one? Uh, in this one. I would say this one. Here's where it went in. There's an entrance there, there's an exit down there, there's an entrance down there, might be an exit on this one, and then the fifth jug has just dealt a glancing blow on the side here, see if it's in here. Not appear that way. Nope. So seven grains, nine grains, ten grains. Standard load number one, standard load number two. Here was our standard first three shots. Pretty good. There's my aim point. And we went to a seven grain. One was down here and the other two way up here. Not very good. And we went to the eight and nine grain. Aim point. Pretty good grouping, but way off the aim point. Uh, 10 grain and 11 grain. One came down in here, but again, nice groupings, but not very accurate from aim point. 12 and 13 grain, plus a different brand of powder, the B. Aim point, all over the place. Now we went to 14 and 15 grain, right almost dead center from aim point. 18, 18. Pretty close, pretty good. 18. 18. Yeah. Standard orange. Game point. Pretty good. And the green ones. Same thing. Pretty good. A little bit of. So which one would you say is your favorite load here, Gary? 14 or 15 green. Okay, obviously every gun reacts different to different grains and 
different types of ammo. If you do your own loading at home, go through something like this where you try out different grains and see where it goes and then you know you could stick with that grain and, and go out and shoot very, very accurate. Nicely said. Until next time, shoot safe, shoot well, and shoot often. This is Jerry from Prairie Ballistics, signing off.